Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial specifically for people who are studying Japanese. And what I want to show you is how to add readings to your cards such that the readings show up both on the front and the back of the card once you look at the back of the card. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So since we're studying Japanese, uh, let's make a deck called Japanese and let's add a word to that deck. So let's put the kanji for cat on the front. Let's put a picture of a cat on the back in order to have the meaning. So a simple thing you could do is you could put the reading on the back along with the meaning. So what you would get is you'd have the kanji for cat on the front and then you'd have the reading and the meaning on the back. So this is simple enough, definitely works, it's fine. But a different way that you can do it is you can actually have it, let's get rid of this. And let's actually put it up here. So you have to put it in this notation in brackets like this. And what we want to do is right now, the back of the card is just, um, I mean, the, the front side, once you go to the back, is just what's on the front. But what you want to do is here you want to have, here you want to have it be kanji, which gets rid of the... Um, reading as you could see. So the reading is sitting like that in the notation. If you type kanji here, it's gone. Um, and then here, what you want to do is actually type this. And then what you get is when you look at the front of the card, there's no reading. And on the back of the card, you see the reading on the top and then the back of the card. So the way it works is you see the kanji and then you think, okay, what's the reading? All right, I remember. Okay, what's the meaning? Okay. And then you go like this, and the reading pops up right there, and the meaning right here. So functionally, um, of course, you're doing the same thing here as before. You're just remembering the reading and the meaning. But personally, from an aesthetic point of view, I prefer um, this way of formatting the cards. So if you're interested in doing this, um, then give it a try.